Okay guys, now we're gonna get into the candles. I just finished talking about the Wallflower Duo plug. I would recommend it, but um, like I stated, I think it depends on which ones you use. Um, and again, the once it get halfway, then it starts to dwindle out, the sweet pea. But the Cactus Blossom did pretty good. Um, now I'm gonna go over with candles. Um, this one is the Peach Bellini. And as you can see, I used only, I haven't used that much, like at all, like this much. Um, and the reason for it is because some of them are strong, so I only burn them when I'm at home by myself. Um, and if you don't know what Peach Bellini is, it's like the best one. If, like I had the Georgia Peach one, and it was an artificial peach smell, and this one to me, really smells like peaches and it's amazing in my opinion um so in the peach bellini it is succulent white peach sparkling prosecco sweet oranges with essential oils again it smells amazing i love smelling smelling my candles like it's like my first time ever smelling them um, this is what it looks like when it burns. I started to burn it earlier and then I stopped. As you can see, um, this part right here, I didn't quite, I didn't burn it that long. I had just lit it and then had to move out really quick. I'm sorry about the noise. But also, as you can see, one of them mushroomed out a little bit. And the other ones are okay. Um, it actually burns evenly. Um, let's see. Um, it burns really good. I usually, this one I have in my bathroom. Um, it was actually over there in the corner. <laughs> um, and I burn it and it has, if all of the doors are open, then it smells from all of the like inside of the bedrooms all of the bedrooms is back this way along up the hallway and then maybe you can smell it a little bit in the family room but um i really love peach bellini it's really good it smells amazing i love the packaging on this one too i'm definitely going to keep my jars um to put things in i need to stop saying oh, don't I? And so that's that one. But again, the throw on this one is really good. The throw from scale of 1 to 10, I would give it an 8. Um, now, I have not tried it in my family room area. But I know with my family room area, I have the champagne toast one. And with that throw from scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 10. Because it actually smells up the whole house, which is awesome. Um, yeah, so that's Peach Bellini. The next one is the Balsam and Firewood one. Um, and this one is Cedarwood, Cardamom, White Birch with essential oils. This is like my favorite candle. I wish I would have bought more than one of these during Candle Day last year. Um, but... It smells so good. Now, with this one, it burns really good. But I forgot to cut a fourth of the wick down. You know, you're supposed to do it every time you burn, before you burn your candles. And I forgot, so as a result of that, this one right here, this mushroom guy, this is, like as you can see, all of them mushroom. And when I lit it earlier, it kind of like, I don't know if you can see the little black little specks, but it kind of like, phew, made like that kind of noise. Um, and it got on there a little bit, as you can see. I don't know if you can really see that on my finger, but. But this one definitely mushrooms out a lot, as you can see, all three of them. 
I have cut it down every single time and it still smush room. Out the throw on this one, a scale from one to 10, I give it a nine because it smells up the whole entire house and it smells good. And it doesn't matter what room I put it, if I put it in my bathroom or if I put it in the family room, it does great. So, I scale from 1 to 10 in my opinion now. These are my um, results with how my home is set up. And I, I live in a ranch style home. So, from 1 to 10, I give this a 9. Um, the Balsam and Firewood. Peach Bellini, I gave that one an 8. Right? No, I gave that one a 10. I'm sorry. The Peach Bellini, I gave a 10. What's that shit? I'm sorry, guys. I just forgot what number. <laughs> but this one definitely, I give this one a 9. And this is a white barn candle. The Peach Bellini is also a white barn. Now, oh, all of these that I'm reviewing are white barn candles. Now, um, I forgot to mention I'm going to review only four today and then tomorrow I'll do another video and I'll do four more. Um yeah so the next one is the bergamot waters and it looks like this and it smells so refreshing to me. Um bergamot waters is sparkling bergamot pristine blue water sugar crisp um Citrus, creamy saddlewood with its essential oils. I'm starting to get to that. And as you can see, the burn on this one, like I said before, I decided to burn all four of them. As I said earlier in the video, I only one time. And I forgot to show you guys this one. So as you can see, how the wax. Stay right here, right here, right here, and then that's the main thing. Um, I'll make the candle out. But this is Bergamot Waters. It has a mushroom, only a little bit. Not that much. This one and that one. It is a good throw. For me, I give this one a 10 as well because the smell of it, it is as good. I have burned, as a matter of fact, each of these candles I have burned for, I know with the firewood and um, the balsam and firewood, I burned it over three hours, I want to say, because I had it burning the whole time during Christmas dinner and it did really good really good um the bergamot waters for the throw i give it a 10 as well i have it in my bathroom sometimes and i also put it in the family room the throw on it is really good it actually smells up the whole house so this is a good one too this is a good one. And I just I just love smelling good scented candles. Uh, now this is one of my this is my new baby. This is um well she's not really new, but um one of my like Maybe three videos up, maybe before this one. I'm not really sure, but in one of the videos, I explained how I had the Georgia peach, and I was I exchanged it out for the pink apple punch candle. I switched it out because, like I stated earlier, the Georgia peach had an artificial smell to it. It did not smell like peaches. To, it was. It was horrible. Had to take it back. I had to because it was bad. Uh, and it was brand new. I did not burn it. 
it's just the smell itself like just opening up i grabbed it in the store and i was like okay it smelled pretty good it's like judge peach but i don't know if it's because i smelled so many before the night before the candle day i had one in there a little later right before they were getting ready to close and they were just now setting those out like the georgia peach uh i think it was pineapple something um matter of fact i have that candle it was the pineapple mango it was in this packaging but it was the georgia peach one but they were just now putting these out and um i'm going to review that one tomorrow and it's just I got it I smelled it the night before it smelled awesome got it home after candle day started smelling all of my candles got to that one I was like what was I thinking so then I waited a few days and I was like okay, let me just smell it again still smell bad so I decided not to keep it I returned it brand new <laughs> And um, I exchanged it for this pretty girl right here. She is so pretty. She kind of matches my gloss just a little bit. But it's Pink Apple Punch by White Barn. And it's crisp apples, sun-kissed melon, sugar crystals with essential oils. And um, this one smells amazing totally amazing but I'm having one little issue and it happened today I have burned this candle today would have been day my fourth maybe my fourth time third or fourth time burning it and that happened to me as you can see there is no leak like at all the, 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 is nothing there it's just a little bit like compared to do a comparison for you this one versus this one as you can see there's no leak the only thing that you see on this it's the wig. There's no extra like this one. You see how that's a lot. Oh, I almost dropped it. Like a lot of wig left. This one. Once I touch it, that's it. That's. I can't like. Yeah, there's no wig on there. So I'm kind of disappointed. I don't know what happened. I don't know if the last time when I did cut them, cut it, I should say, if I like to make sure I put the right tops on each one too, even though they look the same, as you can see, but I like to make sure that the right one goes on the right candle, if that makes any sense. So this one belongs to that one. Yeah. But now the smell on this one. Oh my God. If you have not purchased it or if you have not smelled the pink apple punch, I promise you, you are missing out on a banger. Okay? This is the bomb. It's the bomb. Yeah. So... Pink Apple Punch, throw, scale one to 10, 10. So really all of my candles I give in, I give a 10 to really, uh, I think I got a nine for the Peach Bellini, but now I give that one a 10 too. Um, now there will be some candles where the throw is not strong when I sit it in, the, in my bathroom area. And it only stops so much in the in the home, but the other ones actually go throughout the whole house. And like I said earlier, I stayed in like a ranch style home, 
Well, matter of fact, it is a ranch style home. I said like, it is a ranch style home. So they actually go throughout the whole house. Even all the way up. Even all the way back to like the washroom area. It's amazing. But this one, I'm just kind of disappointed that my wicks are gone. And I honestly don't know what it would be like if I burn it again. So I don't know what to do. Um, I know in the States you always have to keep the wicks trimmed to a fourth, but there's nothing for me to trim after burning it a little today. So it's just going to be like I have to burn what's here and go from there. But the smell is amazing. I love it. So. We're going back through again. Pink Apple Punch. Scale of 1 to 10. So far it's the throw. Meaning the fragrant smell and how it does when you burn it a good amount of time. And how it smells throughout the whole home. I give it a 10. The Balsam and Firewood. Scale of 1 to 10. I give it a 10 as well. That goes throughout my whole home. Makes every room smells good. 10. Give that one a 10. Um, now, another review for this one. Let me go back. The wick. That's my only issue. And it just happened today. I don't know why. But it happened today when I lit it. Um, I don't want to break my glass. Balsam and firewood. I stated earlier. Mushrooms, I'm going to trim my wick and I'm going to see if it does it, if it mushrooms again, but it do mushroom. So that's um, a little con, I guess you would say, but so far it's a throw, like I stated, I give it a 10 as well. Burning my waters would be next. Throw, give it a 10. Like I stated, only one of them. So far on one of my wigs, well two, but this one is really mushrooming now. I will cut my wigs again tonight. I always do it once I, like I let them cool off and then I cut them and then the next day I try them again or two days later I burn it to see. But um, bring my waters, the scale from one to 10, so far it's the throw, meaning the smelling of my whole home. I give it a 10 as well. And last but not least is the Peach Bellini. And I give this one a 10 as well. So far as the throw, it burns evenly. The wick is good and it smells good. All of them, I forgot to mention, all of them burn evenly. But as you can see, some of it did not get a chance to melt because like I said, I I lit them up and then like not even a minute or two later I was gone so I had to blow them out so my house can stay intact. Um, but yeah, so out of all these four, I do recommend each and every last one of them. I'm going to put them in order from one to four, which ones I would say it's my number one out of these four. And I'm going to do the same thing tomorrow. One will be the... So far as... Um, like a really strong punch. Will be the Balsam and Firewood. So I would say this is number one. Pink Apple Punch is number two. Remember, it looks like this. Number three will be Peach Bellini. Looks like this. And number four is Bergamot Waters. But again, I recommend you, if you are 
in the Bath and Body Works collection group or you really love candles, like candles are like the, it's your favorite thing in the whole wide world, I definitely recommend buying all four. Now, so far as the balsam and firewood, that was during Christmas time when I saw it. So hopefully it'll be back again this year. I have not seen it since. So if come Christmas time, if you want the balsam and firewood, make sure that it's the number one on your list. I promise you, you will not regret it. It is amazing. To me, between that one, the balsam and firewood, and the fresh balsam one, balsam and firewood. In my honest opinion, I would pick that one over Fresh Blossom. Like now, if they were sold out of the Blossom and Firewood, I would definitely purchase a Fresh Blossom. But even then, you know what? I wouldn't even purchase one. I would actually wait until it's back in stock, to be honest, to get my hands on the Blossom and Firewood. And I definitely will be trying to get another one this year. I would rather have two of them but yes so thanks again for watching I really appreciate it if you have not joined what are you waiting for I know I have been in my A but I promise you guys every Friday new video so make sure you hit the notification bell so you will be notified that the new video is up and ready to watch and I really appreciate my subscribers who are my family. I really love you guys. I thank you for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your comments. Um, I don't know why my comments had disappeared for a little while. I guess maybe because I've been inactive. I don't know. I'm still new to the YouTube thing. But those who did write comments, I saw them when you posted them. I really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one. Love you, bye.